guys, this is Hardy Kid of Elite here, and today we're going to be reacting to another SML video called uh, President Marvin. Oh, I really did talk about Donald Trump on the other video, but hey, we're doing another President one. Okay, alright, since uh, Joe Biden just dropped out of the election, which is, that's which, which is, that was crazy. I mean, everyone kind of knew that he wasn't going to make it to the other election, so. Alright, we're going to see what happens to this one right here. Alright. Hey, Daddy! Wait, he got that! Hey, Daddy! <laughs> I get it! Because it's hey! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, okay. I got a joke for you, Jeffy. What? What does a gay horse eat? Dick! What? <laughs> no, they eat hey. Oh, I guess that would make more sense. But they still like dick. I mean, whatever, just get this off the couch. Let's, let's watch the news. Breaking news, okay. Since Joe Biden has dropped out of the presidential race, mm -hmm. the Democrats are still looking for their nominee for the 2024 election to go up against Donald Trump. I mean, so if you think one. you have what it takes to be the next president, then start a campaign. Oh, wow, they still need someone else to run for president. Oh, dang, can I run for president? No, Jeffy, you have to be 35 years old. Oh, Marvin, you're over 35. You could be president. I'm not smart enough to be president. Well, daddy, that'd be the fucking pities if you ran for president, because then I could tell everybody that my daddy runs the country. Jeffy, don't mm -hmm. say country like that. Well, all I said was country. Jeffy, you're <laughs> saying that's two words. Say that's one word. It's country. I've always ever said a country. Jeffy, just stop saying it. Hey, Danny, I got a joke for you. What type of tree grows female peepees? What? A country. All right, that's it, Jeffy. You're grounded. <laughs> and the first part of being grounded is you're going to get a vacuum and suck up all this hay. Why? Before a gay horse eats it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so go get it. <laughs> too hard. No, that's what she said. What? Who is she? <laughs> But like, like you know, like a, that's what she said. Like, like a girl has said that. Oh before. my gosh, bro! Who has said that, Marvin? Yeah, well, everyone has. But no, no, no girl has said that to me. It was a joke. Oh, that's embarrassing. So you lied? It's a no, joke. you a dumb joke bitch. Is not a lie. I mean, it's not a true thing that happened, but. It... <laughs> so, let me let me see who that is. Hello. Hi, Marvin. Oh, <laughs> good man. I don't have my house payment this month. I don't give a fuck. That's not what this is about. So what's it about? <laughs> I need you to run for president. But me? What? Why me? Because I am in a shithole of tax debt right now. I haven't paid my taxes in 10 years, and I'm actively being audited. They're already seizing my offshore bank accounts. So I need you to run for president so you can pardon all my tax debt. Well, why don't you just run for president and pardon yourself? I don't want to run for president because I don't want to have to live four years in the White House. <laughs> Ew! Poor! My house is way better than the White House. Not to mention, the president's not allowed to drive. So how am I going to drive my Lamborghinis? Ew! Poor! And also, the last president that got sucked off in the Oval Office got impeached. I get sucked off all the time, Marvin. Like five to ten times a day. So I'm going to be impeached as fuck. So that's why I need you to do it. Well, I don't even think I have what it takes to be a president. Marvin, the only thing you need to worry about is money, and I got plenty of it. So I'll sit there and I'll support your campaign. Super pack as fuck. Are, are you sure I have what it takes? Yes. You like ice cream? Yeah. Well, great. You're a perfect replacement. Let's go get you a really nice suit and shit. <laughs> okay. Marvin, that's a nice suit. That looks good. Whoa, Marvin, what are you all dressed up for? I'm running for president. You are? Fuck yeah, he is. <laughs> and I've already funded your campaign $200 million. So now you're the Democratic nominee. I am? Yeah, so now let's go to your first debate. Debate? Well, what am I even going to say? I don't know. Just answer the questions and do whatever you think. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 2024 presidential debate where Donald Trump will be debating mm -hmm. new Democratic presidential candidate Marvin Marvin. No fuck, that's his actual name, Marvin Marvin. But Why? Candidates, I'm going to ask you some questions and you answer them. We'll start with you, Mr. Trump. What would you do to secure the border? Well, the first thing I would do is I would get a huge, I'm talking huge pair of scissors and I would cut right across the U.S.-Mexico border <laughs> and I would push Mexico. Mexico out into the ocean so they're no longer connected to America, the greatest country in the world. And Mexico would be its own little floating island of Mexicans not taking our jobs. And we would maintain our Taco Bell jobs here. Cause Taco Bell is a great American cuisine filled with the bellies of many Americans. Alright, Marvin, oh my same question for you. What would you do to secure the border? Uh, the, the border, um, I've been on a cruise to Mexico. Are, are they not allowed to take a cruise here, like, can they not visit America? 
but what's the problem? I don't, I don't even know what he's saying, and quite frankly, I don't think he knows what he's saying either. Mexicans are stealing our jobs. Mr. Trump, please allow him to finish his answer. Oh no, that was that was that was my answer. I I don't know what the I've been to Canada. Are we stopping Canada too? All right. Well, <laughs> next question, Marvin. How would you create more jobs in America? Well, ever since COVID, the McDonald's and Walmart where I live are no longer 24 hours. And so, if I was president, I would make them open 24 hours, so that'll create jobs, because I want a quarter pounder with cheese at 2 a.m. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Trump, how would you create more jobs? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do to create more jobs is hire a bunch of people to build my huge pair of scissors for the border. Then the next thing I'm gonna do for more jobs is I'm gonna hire a bunch of Mexican watchers that are gonna sit on the border, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna watch for Mexicans trying to swim back to our great, big, beautiful country. And then I'm gonna hire more secret service agents, and then I'm gonna hire here. more secret service <laughs> agent trainers, and a new secret service director. And in the great big factory of bandages, I'm gonna hire more workers to create more ear bandages. <laughs> and then in all our hospitals, we're gonna have more ear doctors. They're gonna be great. They're gonna be very intelligent. They're gonna be handsome. And then we're gonna have more dome builders for my indoor rallies because I'm not going outside anymore. I'm not gonna do it. You can't make me do it. All right, final question. Mr. Trump, what would you do about gun control? Quite frankly, if everyone had guns that day, this wouldn't have happened in my beautiful ear because they would have shot him before he shot me right in my beautiful ear. The doctors even were astonished of how much it bled. They said, my ear bled more blood than they've ever seen anything else bleed ever. And that's astonishing to me. You could cut your finger off and it still wouldn't bleed more blood than my ear bled that day. But uh, they're still looking into why the ear bleeds more than any other body part that anyone has. Uh, but with that being said, I think babies should have guns. I think when you're born, they should what? put a gun in no. your hands. Okay. And that is how we're going to make no. America great again. Okay, okay. no. All Here, right, let's make Robin, it more what violent. You? What do you think about guns? Uh, well... Guns are loud and scary, and they kill people. And I, I don't think, I don't think you need an AR-15. I mean, a handgun's nice. I mean, to protect yourself. I don't, I don't know why you'd ever need an AR-15, because those are big, and like the military needs that. I don't know why you'd need that. So, I don't. I guess you buy what you want, I guess. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you. This guy right here is a loser. I'm a winner. I bet I bet he doesn't even know how to golf. What what's your handicap? Oh, I'm I'm not handicapped. I'm 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 good. I'm mentally good. I think my son might be handicapped. I mean, I think, he, I think he's faking it sometimes, but I, I'm okay. I bet he can't even hit par on a par four. I, I can par four. Wrong. All right, that does it for this debate. Well, you did okay, Marvin, but I think Trump did better. The good news is we have until November to get you ready for the election, so I recommend playing more golf. Well, <laughs> Marvin, I think you did great. And also, I think you're right. McDonald's should be open 24 hours again. Good afternoon, Mr. Marvin. Who are you guys? We're your new Secret Service agents. I'm Agent Earl, and this is Agent Guy. He sounds oh, like Joe's family guy. Well, we have to protect the candidates, too, to make sure they make it to the election. Oh, that's so fun! We're protecting him, not you! So what do you guys do all day? <laughs> well, we protect you at all times. You go to take a piss, we hold it. You take a shit, we wipe it. We protect you from everything. Oh, okay. Oh, my stomach's growling. He's got a Russian rat in his stomach trying to kill him. Get him down! Well, okay, what? Get out of there, you Russian bastard! Well, I'm just hungry! <laughs> what? I'm hungry! Oh. I thought you had a rat in your stomach trying to eat its way out of your abdomen, or maybe you swallowed some cyanide. No, I'm just hungry. I want to go to the kitchen and get some food. He needs food! Food! All right, let's go to the kitchen. I got this side. I got this side. We good? We're good. Are we good? We're good! Okay, move, 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 move,
Exactly. Make sure you get rid of any knives and forks. We don't want anything pointy. Uh, I, I can use a fork. No, that's what the terrorists want you to do is eat with forks. You gotta use spoons only. Hello, welcome to Apple. What the fuck? Get her, get her, get her! <laughs> Do you have a gun, you hippie? No, I work here. We good? We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ugh, what can I get you? Well, just to be safe, I think we should probably get, um, one yeah, we... of everything on the entire menu just to make sure it's not poison. I think, girl. Are you going to pay this time? Uh, excuse me, this is a presidential candidate. Of course we're going to use campaign money to pay. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mr. Marvin, when the food gets here, don't eat anything until me and Agent Earl have tasted it. All right, here's all the food. Oh, this all looks so good. Yeah, I, I mean poison. Hey, I I'm want to eat. the check before you can run away. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing, Marvin? I no. want a cheese stick. No, 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 no. I have to make sure none of this stuff is poison before you can eat it. I say we check the drinks first. Good idea, Agent Earl. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? This is Diet Pepsi. This might as well be poisoned. Marvin, I'm doing you a favor. All right, now what do I want to taste test first? Ooh, maybe the chicken wonton tacos? Or maybe the chicken Alfredo? Or the four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders? Or maybe the kid's cheese pizza? Just don't touch my bur- his burger. All right, Marvin, just be patient and wait right there while we test this food. Agent Earl, ready? ready. They're gonna eat all, all the food. Ready. We're ready. <laughs> They're gonna eat all the food. <laughs> oh, that was definitely not poison. Nah. -uh. Oh, that was delicious, Marvin. What am I gonna eat? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I do have two french fries left that might be poisoned. So, how are you going they to pay? They suck. Pay? We don't have to pay. He's a presidential candidate. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, I am. All right, that's it! Guys! Oh, 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 shit. Oh, you got shot Boy, in the fucking okay. ear. <laughs> oh, you got shot. Oh, we in the are ear. so fired. Yeah. Oh, Marvin, I'm so sorry you got shot, buddy. We couldn't help. We were just in a food coma. We couldn't even move. You saw the you gun. You literally just moved. Out of the way. Well, yeah, Marvin, it's a gun. It's fucking scary. I don't want to get shot. Your job is to get shot to protect me. Wh why would I get shot for you? Because you're supposed to protect my life. Wh why is your life worth more than mine? Well, it, well cause just your job is to, to die for me if you have to. Oh. Okay, you're definitely not fit to be president if you think you're better than everybody. I don't think I, but your job is to protect me. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get shot. I mean, a human life is a human life. Why should I die for you? That's not fair. Oh, okay, listen, then you're not good to be a Secret Service agent. Oh, I don't want to be. Fuck this. I don't want to get shot. I'm not doing this job. <sighs> Waste yeah, of time. Drop out of the presidential race. It's too stressful. You're not allowed to eat, and people try to kill you every day. I think that's a good idea, Marvin. Okay, how do I announce I'm quitting? Like, do I go on Twitter? I don't have a Twitter. I think <laughs> you just say it. I'm dropping out of the presidential race. Uh oh, Goodman's here. Hello. Hello, Marvin. Uh, <laughs> oh, what about oh, Trump. Well, I just wanted to stop by because I heard that you dropped out of the race. I did. Loser, loser, <laughs> the hugest loser this country's ever seen. All right. Well, I thought you'd be happy. Oh, I am, Marvin. Build the wall, build the wall, build the wall, <laughs> huge. Build the wall. <laughs> Jam build it really tall across the Mexico border. Goodbye, fucker. Oh my ear! He got shot. Okay, that was kind of wild right there. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's the end of the video. Want more Party Kid Elite? Ah, uh, scratch the channel. Leave a like and comment down below and tell me who you guys think is gonna win the election to be president. So far, we got Donald Trump versus Carl Harris. You know the. I don't really. I'm not gonna vote for both of them to be honest with you. No, I don't really like both of them, so I ain't voting for them. So screw that. All right, I'll see you guys again.